What's up, crew? <laughs> it's Nate back for another one, and you're gonna love this series. This is your first workout of your leveled up boxing workouts here on my channel. Now, before we get started, an example of a leveled up workout would be two very popular workouts I have now posted, two seasons of some of them on Nate Bauer Elevated. Number one is BoxCon 2.0, where I mix conditioning with heavy bag work. There is two seasons of those sessions. Those are 30 minute boxing workouts. They're phenomenal. And also the Elevated Heavy Bag Hit Series, which you guys are absolutely loving. So thank you for the feedback on those. So if you wanna check out those, you can also head to Nate Bauer Elevated and see those there. Today's workout in your first leveled up series is two of my most popular workouts combined. 30 minute heavy bag hit workout and the ultimate 20 minute heavy bag workout. We're gonna take bits and pieces of each, bring them together for one hell of a sweat. When you walk up to the heavy bag with this one, just get ready to go to work. It's gonna happen fast, you're gonna love it, put your energy into it. If you're new to the channel, you can shadow box if you don't have a heavy bag and I can also coach you through or I will coach you through with a voiceover so you don't get lost within the session. I always say give yourself three run throughs to really figure it out. And then once you get through that third, fourth, fifth session, you're gonna really be able to hammer out these workouts, okay? And remember guys, always subscribe, leave me comments and uh, check out Nipar Elevated. But for now, let's get to work, let's go. All right, squad, let's get after it. We're gonna start working the jab right away. So as you step up to the heavy bag, start working your jab. We're gonna hit that for round number one. We're working the ultimate 20 minute heavy bag workout first. Snap the jab for two minutes. Now, as you're working the heavy bag here, you really wanna just think about a lot of movement and try to mimic what I'm doing here. So your first feel out round, round number one, is working against an opponent, snapping out the jab. You're working the heavy bag. You're popping the right shoulder back or the rear shoulder back, visualizing your target and letting your jab go. Short breath as you snap the jab out. Work singles, doubles, and triples. Work, work the jab chin. Let your hands go as you move around the heavy bag. It can be short movement side to side. You can be working in with the jab, working out with the jab. Work in, work out. Work left, work right. Your goal is to establish range, confidence, movement, fast hand as you start off this leveled up workout heavy bag, session number one. Push off your rear foot to get in. If your heavy bag starts moving a lot, you can throw a right hand to settle it down or just hit it with your shoulder lightly as you step in. And let's just settle it down a little bit or you can do what you're supposed to do and just snap your jab. 30 seconds to go in round number one. Keep in mind guys, these workouts, they move really fast. If you've been on my channel for a while, you've probably done each of these rounds, but how they're worked or put together is definitely a little bit different. This workout, you are working a lot of straight punches. So you're punching inside of a soccer ball for the majority, not all, the majority of this session. Snap the jab for five, four, keep working it. Three, two, the bell will stop you, and time. Great job. Round number two, now that you set up the jab in your range, now you're gonna work the jab, jab, cross, the one, one, two, and that one minute hit, full out. Get ready. Start bouncing on your toes. Again, one minute, one, one, two. Get a slight recovery from round number one. And now as you're preparing, what part of the bag are you gonna work? Body, head, head, body, what angles? Figure it out. See that target? Get ready for it, let's go, one, one, two. The next longer section is this hit portion. And again, one, one, two is One, one, two, jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Follow that tempo. Create your own breath so that you can follow your own breath with your combos. 
Now you are punching through your target, not at it. Punch through it before you pull your hand all the way back. 20 seconds. This is power intensity, so you're going through the target. About 90% effort. If you're really going for it, it's 100 plus max effort. So you're 80, 90, 100% effort. Three, two, the bell will stop you. Great job. And now here, just work cover, jab, cover, cross. Cover, jab, cover, cross. And again, if you've done this, this should seem familiar. If you want to amp it up a little bit, give me a little more power on your jab and a little more power on your cross. Lead hand for the jab, rear hand for the cross. Five more seconds. And go. One, one, two. One, one, two. One, one, two. Breath is everything, guys, so you don't want to hold back on this. Again, there's a circular object on the heavy bag. You want to punch in that circular object every time. Now, if you want to throw the right hand to the body a little bit, dip and let it rip just a little bit. Drop your torso slightly and go for it. 30 seconds. Rotate the rear hip on the right hand or on the rear hand. Not too much, but enough to generate more power. 20 seconds. You can be moving left to right, right to left. 10 seconds. Keep breathing through it. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one. Very good. Work cover. One, which is the jab, cover, and cross. Now again, if you're experienced, maybe here you want to work some hooks in place. You could be a cover, three, cover, right hook, cover, left hook, cover, right hook, cover, lead hook, cover, rear hook. Same deal. Four, three, two, one, one more time, guys. Go. One, one, two. Jab, jab, cross. You should be tired already. Remember, maximum effort through the heavy bag. This is not constant work. This is maximum effort. So again, think 80, you know, sub max, 90 max, 100 legitimate max power and effort through the target 30 seconds. That's your breathing. Short, sharp breaths with every punch. Yeah, there you go. Make that heavy bag sing with the noise. You got to put some effort and sting it. Improve your fitness, your endurance, stamina. Love hit sessions on the bag. Two, one, finish up. 30 seconds. Cover, jab, cover, cross, or cover, lead hook or cover rear hook you decide either way let's put in that easy active recovery so these sets essentially elevate your heart rate to that maximum piece again 80 90 percentile and then this active recovery just allows you to not quite go back down to resting heart rate Quick rest, round number three. Great job, guys. Two and three punch combinations. So we're going back to the ultimate 20 minute heavy bag workout. And here you gotta freestyle it. Fast, fast hands. Two punches, rest, three punches. However you want. Now you incorporate uppercuts, hooks, all of it. Ready, go. Pop up. And then pop up, up. Pop up. Pop up, up. So that popping. And that speed, that tempo is important. So fast hands, get them back, move, put in that work. Let's go, Chance. Body, head, head, body, you know that. Change your angles, work inside, outside. 
What are you looking at? Where's your target? Hit your target. Don't hit the heavy bag randomly. You know what you're looking at, so make contact with it. How's your footwork? Are you stable? Are you balanced? Do you feel the flow? Are you only working one direction on the heavy bag? If so, change it and work the other way around. Are you working the same combo? Change it up. Where's your hooks and uppercuts? Where's your defense and head movement? How's your breathing? There you go. See that triple left hook? Love that. Use your core to get more speed. Use your hips to get more rotation. Use your breath for more extension. 30 seconds. Two and three punch combinations. If you want to add a set of four punch combinations for the last 30 seconds, you can. Two, three, four punch combos. Fifteen seconds, keep working it. The bell will slow you down. Ten seconds. Keep working, dig into it. Four, three, two, one. That's what I'm talking about. Quick rest as you check out round number four screen to see the cross lead uppercut cross. So that is the two, five, two. The rear cross, the lead uppercut, rear cross, so cross, hook, cross. Lots of rotation on this going back to the 30 minute heavy bag hit workout. On your toes, get ready for it. You can practice it right now. So throw the right hand, the lead uppercut, right hand, keep working it and get ready for the bell. Nice and easy, get it together. Two, five, two, ready, go. Again, two, five, two, cross, upper, cross, cross, upper, cross, cross, upper, cross. And remember, you can extend that lead uppercut out pretty far, or you can work this combination inside, or both. That last right hand is the hardest punch. Use that lead uppercut to rotate into the rear shoulder and use that energy to drive into the bag. 24 seconds. Move a little left to right, right to left. You can step in with the cross, then land that lead uppercut cross. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Excellent, duck right. Duck left, duck right, duck left. Roll right, roll left, roll left, roll right. Either one works. Think about you're going under left hooks, under right hooks, under lead hooks, under rear hooks, same thing. Some people like different cues, but you're going under those hooks and then come back and attack again with that two, five, two, go. Cross, upper, cross, cross, upper, cross, cross, upper, cross. Now you can see I'm just tapping the bag with that lead uppercut. And putting a lot of effort into that right hand. You can do the same. That's right. You got it. 30 seconds. Move left to right, don't forget. Even if it's two inches, it's fine. Ten seconds, keep putting in the work. Two, five, two. Cross, upper cross. That's your tempo. Three, two, and one, duck right, duck left, and once again, roll right, roll left. Both work, and we'll do one more.
Like as you're rolling under, visualize something in front of you. What are you going under? A fence? A rope? A hook? Are you drawing a circle with your head? Let's go right hand, left uppercut, right hand. Finish strong, round number four. One minute hit, 30 second active recovery, then you have your rest, but you gotta put in work first for the next 40 seconds. Breathe, 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 breathe. Find the rhythm, find the tempo. Now accelerate that tempo a little faster. There you go. Now as you accelerate that tempo a little faster, right before your right hand on the second one hits the heavy bag, punch a little harder, a little more power, right at that end range, that last two inches. Two, five, two, two, five, two. Cross, upper, cross, that's what you want through the target and let's go active recovery duck right duck left roll right roll left it's all you get going and here's where you take it all in you're like hey you know what that was a hard set i crushed it let me just roll under these punches a little bit and just get get moving and get ready for your rest in 10 seconds Normal to feel your legs doing these. Make sure you're losing, using your legs to drop your torso down. Rest, round number five. Here, you're gonna work outside power jab cross. So all you're working again is the jab cross. You just worked the two, five, two, the right hand left uppercut or lead uppercut cross. Now I want you to work the one twos with power straight down the middle, go. One, two. One, two, there you go. Now, if you wanna throw a random two in there instead of a jab, that's fine, but make sure the majority of your punches are strong one twos. It can be a jab, reset, then a one, two, it can be a cross, then a reset, one, two, or it can be straight up jab, cross. Jab, cross, jab, cross, all power. So you have to really rotate that rear hip into that rear hand. If the bag swings too much, stop with powerful right hand coming in. One minute. Don't forget to breathe, keep your shoulders relaxed, close your hands on impact. That's it, keep going. 40 seconds. Now, when you feel your shoulders start to fatigue, which I know you probably do, think about your core helping you rotate your torso, which will help extend your arms. So use your hips, then use your core, then use your arms. So create more tension through your abdomen to allow you to work or waste less energy by activating your core. Don't waste energy. Find a way to use it properly instead of just getting your hands to fly everywhere or forcing them forward. Four, three, two, one. One, beautiful, round number six. This is where I need you to dig in. Jab, jab, cross. We're working your hit set again. Jab, jab, cross. Your heart rate's elevated. Your shoulders are tired. Let's go. You're working the one, one, two, the jab, jab, cross, but I want you to go harder than your last set. Go. You know what to do now. The question is, is how much effort are you willing to put into this round? You're working round number six. You're almost home.
This workout total is 32 minutes, including intros. You have a 30 minute, 30 minutes of work. And this is only a couple minutes of that work. So you have to really extend with power into the heavy bag and do what you got to do. Keep going. See your target drive through it. You know it's already max power. You know it's max power. One, cover, two. Cover one or cover two, or remember, cover left hook or lead hook, cover rear hook. Get ready for it. One, one, two. You gotta really crush this one out. Ready, go. Jab, jab, cross. You have to hear it to really understand what the tempo is. Once you feel and hear the tempo, your money, you're good. Drive through the heavy bay. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Finish strong. This is it. This is going to end round number six in five, four, three, two, one, and time. Excellent job. Round number seven. Once again, you have to dig in deep to throw these fast hands with two and three punch combinations. And before you get into the round, get on your toes, get moving. Literally think about getting your abs to assist with your combination. So your core is engaged, flex when you need it, relax it when you don't. Go. Two punch, three punch combos. Fast hand speed. Inside and out. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 right? You always hear boxers in the gym making that noise and it just gives you a reminder of how fast you can throw your own hands or how fast you want to throw them. So you're giving yourself your own feedback. Again, different levels. You work in the body champ. There you go. You're going from body to head, head to body. Are you changing angles with pivots? Can you see everything you're hitting? Are your hands coming back? How's your foot position? That's better, that's better. How's your breathing now? Is your neck relaxed? Yeah, you gotta keep working, see? Don't let your hands drop. When you feel them drop, put them back up. Just like that, put them back in position and go back to work. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. You only have two rounds left after this. Round eight and round number nine, that's it. Yeah, you're right, you can do this. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Right to the end champ. Two, one, and time. This is your last boxing, boxing component where you're doing 10 by 10, which means 10 seconds on, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, nonstop with a 10 second rest. This is a lactic conditioning, so you're not even going to be using oxygen when you're doing this set, although it feels like you are. Let's go. 10 by 10. 10 seconds on. 10 seconds off. Rest on your toes. Always get ready. 
go. This is max power. You are through every bit of this heavy bag. Come on. Rest. Rest. That's right. On your toes. Ready. Go. Max effort. This is where if you had stress coming in today, it'll be gone. It's gone now. Let it out. Rest. Let it out. Go. Dig into it, guys. Come on, you gotta put through, push through the heavy bag. Snap it. Rest. Ready? Go. You gotta dig in for me, you guys. You have to dig in for me here. I know it's hard. Rest. 30 seconds to go. Two sets. Go. After this one, we're gonna do continuous punching. In three, two, one punch non-stop. Go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Dig into the ground with your feet and push that heavy bag away from you with your hands. 10 seconds. Push it away from you. Don't let it come in two inches. Four, three, two, one. You're an animal. Take off those gloves. Walk over towards your heavy bag. Stand there. You're going to go into that Split lunge position, yes. You're gonna do the Bauer heavy bag push lunge. The one that people have been talking about all over the world. I'm gonna let the original voiceover take you guys there, all right? The gloves are off. What you're gonna do here is get into a lunge position in front of the heavy bag and the bag should be about arms length away from you, okay? That back knee is off the floor one centimeter. But you're gonna push the bag while in a split lunge and you're gonna hold that lunge position for 30 seconds. It's gonna burn, but I want you to stay with it. Ready, push, like that. Bring it back in, your hands stay on the bag the whole time. My back knee is not touching. Exhale, exhale. Every time you push, exhale, exhale. Keep your body as still as you can. Bring the bag back, let it touch your torso, and then accelerate it forward, then stop it and bring it back. Okay? Halfway. Give me a good, strong pace. Do not stop. Fifteen seconds. That expression on my face is no joke. Ten seconds. Touch, accelerate forward, stop it, pull it back in. Three, two, let go of the bag, stay there. Stay here, let go of the bag. Do not let that back knee touch. Do not let the back knee touch. Squeeze the front quad. Breathe. Find the energy from anywhere. Do not let the back knee touch. 10 seconds, stay with it. You are good, find the energy, do not touch. Two, one, stand, beautiful. Switch legs. Ready, go. Come on. Exhale as you push. Let the bag touch your torso. Accelerate it forward. Touch, push, touch, push, touch, push. Halfway. 
stick with it. You know what the first one felt like. You'll feel it one more time on this side and we are good to go. 15 seconds, come on guys, stick with it, come on. Do not stop pushing, do not let the back knee touch. Five seconds. Release the bag, hold it, come on. You are controlling your body, you're not stopping, you're not letting the back knee touch. Squeeze that front quad, hamstring, glute, squeeze, 10 seconds, that's it. This is the worst part right here, fight for five seconds, fight it. Two, one, and stand. Awesome work, guys. Legitimately well done. And there you have it, guys. Your first workout is done of your Leveled Up series. Let me know what you think. Leave me comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And remember, three to four run-throughs. It'll really start to make more sense to you. Your conditioning will improve, and you'll understand the flow of the workouts. Subscribe. Make sure you leave me comments, natebarelevate.com to see Box Scout 2.0. There's two seasons there, an elevated heavy bag hit. And of course, I'll see you for your next workout on your Leveled Up series. Good job, guys. I hope you love that session.